One thing that we reviewed in 2020 was Adventures in Dinosaur City. Another thing that we reviewed in 2020, movie called Pod People and Adventures in Dinosaur City. One other thing that we reviewed in 2020, The Man Who Knew Too Little, Return of E.T. and Adventures in Dinosaur City. Another thing that we reviewed in 2020, Acrimony, The Man Who Knew Too Little, Extraterrestrial Visitors and Adventures in Dinosaur City. Another film that we reviewed in 2020, the movie called Scoob, Acrimony, The Man Who Knew Too Little, Pod People, and Adventures in Dinosaur City. Another thing that we reviewed in 2020, The Running Man, that movie, Scoob. Tyler Perry's Acrimony, The Man Who Knew Too Little, a movie called Pod People, and Adventures in Dinosaur City. Something else that we'll review later this month in 2020, the Star Wars Holiday Special, The Running Man, That Bad Film Scoob. Acrimony, The Man Who Knew Too Little, and of course Pod People and Adventures in Dinosaur City. Something else that we reviewed in 2020, The Living Daylight Star Wars Holiday Special, The Running Man, Bad Mistake Scoop. Acrimony, The Man Who Knew Too Little, Extraterrestrial Visitors, and Adventures in Dinosaur City. Something else that we reviewed in 2020, a movie called Rhinestone, The Living Daylight, Star Wars Holiday Special, The Running Man, That Piece of Scoop, Acrimony, The Man Who Knew Too Little, a movie called Pod People, and Adventures in Dinosaur City. Something else that we reviewed in 2020, Jaws 3D, Rhinestone, The Living Daylight, Star Wars Holiday Special, The Running Man, That Terrible Will Forte Scoob, Acrimony, The Man Who Knew Too Little, Return of E.T., and Adventures in Dinosaur City. Something else that we reviewed in 2020, who Framed Roger Rabbit, Jaws 3D, Rhinestone, The Living Daylight, Star Wars Holiday Special, The Running Man, That Horrible Scoop, Tyler Perry's Acrimony, The Man Who Knew Too Little, Pod People, and Adventures in Dinosaur City. One final thing that we reviewed in 2020, a movie called Spy Mate, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Jaws 3D, Rhinestone the Living Daylights, Star Wars Holiday Special, I Own It, The Running Man, That Terrible Scoop, That Terrible Scoop, Tyler Perry's Acrimony, The Man Who Knew Too Little, Pod People, and Adventures in Dinosaur City. Now here's a December review. Um, what do we even need to say? Yet, well, at least this year has finally come to a close, and what a way to close it out on then with Ooh. um not a movie but something tv show something <laughs> well we're gonna probably get a few we're gonna probably get about i don't know 12 nights of sleep probably oh that would be nice the star wars holiday special jeez louise oh my what is this i don't even you don't need any sleep aid. <laughs> you will fall asleep. I thought... Uh, what was that movie that we saw this year that I thought was really... Battle Beyond... I thought... Was it Battle Beyond the Stars? Or... No, no. Uh, I thought...
thought Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I thought The Underneath. Oh, I yeah. thought Morons from Outer Space. And I thought Monkeys Go Home were boring. Well, Bill and Ted's got boring for a little bit, but then picked up when they found death. I'm just talking about my opinion. Um. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Spot on. Near yeah, boring. Yeah, we have to pad this to ten minutes, so or twenty. No, not twenty. Please don't. <sighs> so basically, uh, what is Han some... Solo wants to get Chewy Chewbacca home for Life Day. Life Day, which is like their Christmas, Christmas, Hanukkah, or Hanukkah Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Um, what is the other one? There's one. Ramadan. Of yeah. So I don't, I, yeah. So they're you getting, were actually, we they saw were getting this. shot at by the, um, Imperial. Mm -hmm. We saw this over two <laughs> nights. <laughs> Around the point, he to sleep both nights. No, uh -huh. it didn't. Almost, it did. It Pretty didn't good the first night. Yes, it did. I during the cartoon, that's when I kind of that's when I kind of was like, look, I've drank a gallon and a half of water. Uh, I'm exhausted. And this movie is not keeping me awake. I got to get the. I got to get out of here. Yep. So and we... you, <laughs> the second part was like. You Use were best. getting bored during the cartoon. You were immediately after that you got bored. Okay. So we already told you Han Solo is trying to get Chewie home to his family. He has a wife, a father named Itchy, nicknamed Itchy, and the kid was named what? Lumpy, I thought. Lumpy. And his wife is Manil Manil or what was his wife's name? Manella or no lady chewbacca yeah which the the names that they used in this tv show um special. were special were nicknames it wasn't their full name but and don't ask me what their full name was i don't here's know. what i find interesting okay the voices were basically ah, ah. Yep. But they had three different people. Four. Chewy, too. I'm not counting that one. I'm just counting with the voice castings. They had three different voice actors to do the same thing. Well, because they had a little kid and they had Itchy who was grumpy. Ah! You know, he was more growling really than anything. If you closed your eyes, you would have been able to tell who was who. I didn't think so. Well, because the mom kept like, get over here, come here. And the kid was like, ah, 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 ah. um, also he had to take out the garbage. He had to wipe, dry the dishes. Yeah. Yeah, I I hate doing that stuff too. Um What else? Uh Well, then okay, they're waiting for Chewie to get back. So then Mama Corman, Mama and Itchy get on the tube and um meet the meet Mark Hamill in bronze face. Yeah, Mark Hamill and R2D2. Mhm. Mm and Mark Hamill is trying to fix an engine or something. I don't remember. <laughs> Which it keeps going in smoke. <clears throat> you saw a review of this. Um, so did you. I haven't seen But they didn't talk I haven't seen they that didn't review talk in a while. In, they didn't talk in detail that much about it, so he was more negative. But anyway I would so... love I would love for like some comedy writer or something to like take this special and add in like add more comedy subtitles oh so then oh with the chewy family of yeah all? okay so then let's see she starts to get worried i met you so i could she, go for a nacho burrito <laughs> so then no because of his teeth 
can't chew it that it's well. It's a lame <laughs> joke. His bottom teeth were sticking out over his tongue. Let's go see Force Awakens again. <clears throat> so then um, she gets on the other TV and she signals to Art Carney, who is like a traveling salesman with all these gadgets. He'll be in Last Action Hero. He'll be able to keep, he'll keep acting. So then he's got... I think he passed away though, but... Um, he's got one of the Imperial Force people there that he's trying to sell one of his gadgets to. And he's talking um, figment, fictitious, whatever, a sign to tell her that he's four planets away. That big hairy carpet, <laughs> whatever he called him. And if you want to do something by Han solo no hand solo hand solo i know it was supposed to be it was hand solo hand solo anyway can he we get into get the, there. can we get into the harvey corman parts oh okay so she wants to mrs chewy wants to make a nice dinner i guess so yeah harvey corman first shows up as, as a cook on tv a tv bronze cook. julia child <laughs> oh, you have to take a picture of this, and mm, that tastes good. Take another picture, put it in, and oh my god. This is his better performance in this special. Mm-hmm, probably. Now, I think this is the third time. No, this is the fourth. Is this the third time we've reviewed a Harvey Corman movie? I don't know. I'm getting him confused with Tim Conway. I don't know. Just go on. That's you can all. think about it later. It's not funny. Well, I... he kind of was because he was like, you got your your stir and your whatever. So you stir, whip, 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 whip stir, whip, 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 whip stir. stir, whip, whip, stir, whip, smash, stir, cooking, whip, be stir, fun. smash. Woo, woo, woo. And then, then you get your pounder in there, which he's got a third arm that comes out. So it's pound, and pound, whip, stir, pound, pound, whip, stir, whip, stir, whip, now, stir, pound, whip. Now, maybe it's just me because on Carol Burnett. His hair was. I think he was doing that on purpose. Well, maybe. Because when he did Carol Burnett, I think he would always like try to do extra stuff to make other people laugh of the cast yeah i mean it was too obvious you know if you know if he like really cared he would have done like a or if he if he was being serious he wouldn't have like intentionally tried to make the wig fall off yeah he was like oh, or fall what? apart yeah his bangs were falling and yeah he was losing of chunks hair. of hair yeah yeah, so so I, then I'm not gonna make a comment. Then I, she I, makes I, it and she puts it aside. Then long that behold, was worth it. long behold, what shows up Carrie at their Fisher? door? Or, no, no, she, yeah, that's right. She she beams through to Carrie and R two D two. No, no, you C three. Who is the gold guy? C three PO. Yes. So those two are together. Hello, how are you doing? I am Carrie Fisher. They Princess didn't make Leia. it yet. Oh, they will make it. Don't worry. Huh? You're fine. You will be able to celebrate your day. <sighs> she was kind of out of it, I guess. Yeah, I was like, is she high? Well, that's what a lot of the critics thought. No, they said she was on coke. No, like, I thought marijuana high. Any drugs will get you high. LSD, coke, whatever. Anyway. I think George Lucas might have been on LSD when he, when he thought of this idea. Right, but he, he was busy with making his plans for his next movie, so... But he was he in didn't... charge of having it be with uh, Chewbacca. Okay. Anyway, there's a cartoon which. Well, while the Imperials were there. Yeah, they watch. There's a cartoon where. They were trying to find any. Han Solo basically <clears throat> looks like this. 
they were trying to find anything in the house to represent that they were with um, <clears throat> the force or whatever. Oh, wait, we forgot some stuff. Hmm. The acrobats. Oh, that was on the t on the table. And uh, itchy grandpa. No, was no. trying to um. What? Go ahead. Okay, then. And then lumpy, what do you want to do? Hmm. You describe that. Yeah. Go ahead, describe it. Um. Har or Ar Art Carney brought over gifts for each of them. He brought over a transmitter for the little kid, Lumpy or whatever. And he brought over um, like a, it looked like the dryer that comes in the beauty salon. Just get to the video, please. You're tired, aren't you? Yeah. So in this video was... Um, Some chick. Yeah. Um, I was trying to think of her name now that it went through my Stop. brain. Well, she was his personal dream situation. You know what I'll say? It. I put this video. It's not for kids. Kids. His. His. Uh. Bow. Chicka. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Mr. Carney said that he would enjoy it. But remember, so she's saying, and she talked sweetly to him, and oh, 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 what is that? Why? I know what you're thinking. Do you know what I'm thinking? Yeah. But remember, George Lucas, Star Wars is for 12-year-old boys. Yeah. So, Itchy enjoyed his little time watching that. Oh, wait, there's another part that you enjoyed. What? Jefferson Starship. Oh, I didn't enjoy that. I didn't know what they were singing. Me neither. Um, I have seen them in concert many, many years ago, maybe about 1978, 79, somewhere in there. So around the time this this yeah. came out? <laughs> yeah. So, Interesting. Yeah, they, they were pretty bad in this. I don't know who wrote the song for this. Um, yeah, there were a few people that sang, and it just was kind of bad. Oh, you want bad? Oh, okay. Let's get to the bad stuff. When the Imperial was watching TV? The other, Har the second Harvey Corman sketch. The bar? No. Oh, what? You can do whatever you want. With oh, oh, the oh, transmitter. With this, it is... Yeah. yeah. He was he was like a instructional guide live or on a recording or whatever. For he was his, like a malfunctioning Lump, robot, yeah, wasn't for he? For Lumpy to put together the transmitter. He didn't really help him very much. It transmitter? Was, I thought it was a translator. Oh, maybe it's a translator. I thought it was a transmitter because it went through to his, his walkie-talkie. Whatever. I wonder what it would be like to watch this drunk or high. Yeah, but we don't do either, so forget it. Yet. I can say never, it. It's legal. Never. Not you. Anyway. What? It's legal in the state. I don't care. You don't need it. Uh. So you're going to do the third Harvey Corman? Is there something where they're watching the news and whatever? I don't remember that. Right. This is for all of the Imperial Force to watch. Imperial whatever. Moving on. Then there's no, the then cantina. They, yeah, that's what they watched. The guy came on to say that, that everybody that had to go to their homes and like bunker down until further notice. I wasn't talking about that new sketch. Yeah, because right after that, then they watched the I was the talking TV about the one show. before it. What? 
the one that a certain other critic said was like the Discovery Channel. What? Whatever. No, it's they pleased. go to his, they place. I don't want to remember this. They do something and then they go to Mos Eisley's Cantina with B. Arthur. Mm -hmm. She's a bartender. Interesting casting choice. Or beverage lady, whatever you want to call her, because she never mixed anything. Yeah, it looks like she was just pouring Gatorade. Yeah. Gatorade and, well, and V8 cranberry she wants, juice. She wants a V8 berry juice. And Harvey Corman Corbin shows up again with, with some flowers that look dead or dried or whatever. And hey, you know the you know the old saying, third time's the charm. Except in the Star Wars holiday special where he's just some alien with a hole in his head. That's how he drink. Who has, has a, a crush, crush on, on B. Arthur. Was she like a hot chick in the seventies? I don't know. Sorry. I'm like, maybe this role would have been better casted with somebody else. Like, maybe they couldn't get anybody else. <laughs> this this film has only or this show special holiday special has only been shown once because of George Lucas. He owns the rights to it or something. Or Disney, I don't know, but. I think they said George Lucas. Uh, honestly, then they sing some songs, then they walk on planets to another dimension, and then Carrie Fisher sings a song, and then the Chewie and his family eat. That well, about that's it? Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Few episodes, a few things happen in between, but yeah. Oh wow! Uh... And the stormtrooper that was with them, waiting to find the the other male that belonged in the house, while Chewie and Hans kind of took care of him and threw him overboard in the red gook down there. This was very boring. Um, I never thought <laughs> I'd say I never thought I would say this, but. Well, didn't George do it because his next movie, in between movies, he didn't want um, his fans to forget about the store, Star Wars, and they <laughs> forgot about this one. Mm. You can't really find any VHS or digital or anything on this. YouTube view. it. You can find a hundred yeah. copies. Yeah. But to, you got to find one that's decent yeah this was our this was our second this was the second one we found the first one we saw uh, the first one we found had a text <laughs> call and uh was very out of sync yeah <laughs> okay I, I i wasn't looking at the mouths but you were so it, this one was significantly better than one oh, we found yeah um some people have said hey release it on dvd um i disagree release it on blu-ray because collectors will buy it I'm not sure. only that not only that but i have seen terrible horrible work prints turn out in spectacular with a proper rest <laughs> with a proper restoration yeah but this plot i don't think you can help you unless can't. you put the subtitles for Chewbacca's family. Not only that, but I think if it was in clearer vision, like an HD vision, yeah. and not blurry, it might look better. But the, the one thing that got me is they were in there, the Imperial, and they were trying to find who was the resistance, um, the Force, and the little kid, the mom puts the little kid down to watch the computer screen and he watches the cartoon about his dad and Han Solo Hans Solo. Solo and it's like they were trying to find anything that would make them feel like okay this is a house that we need to capture everybody 
but it it doesn't work. The little kid, you're gonna say what he did on his transformer transmitter or whatever. No, but I do want to say, maybe one year we should review the commercials. To this show. Because this was a TV special, and there are commercials out there, mm. including one that says "Fighting the Frizzies at 11. That was news, or yes. No? Okay. Anyway, it's been quite a year. Wow. Had some good ones, had um, some bad ones, <laughs> had boring ones, had funny ones. Okay. February, February, October, and December will all be themed months, but starting from now, I'm no longer going to do themed months outside of those months, but instead I'm, but I am going to do themed weeks. Because I find weeks far more entertaining and creative than months. Mm, okay. So, January obviously will not have a theme, so I'll just describe the first three movies that we're going to review. Um, we're going to review a movie about a boat. We're going to review a movie with Tom Green. Mm. And we're going to review a movie... About what's in here oh no yeah oh my god bye and stay tuned be safe I, I I don't recommend you watch the holiday special and drive immediately afterwards no. not a good idea you'll be sleepy bye bye bye